Hi, Rosario guys, welcome back to more Legends of the Sky with Sword. Last episode, we uh, went and got the propeller to spin that windmill, as well as spin this windmill, to point at that, to play the music for up there. Well, technically, we went and talked to it, whatever. We talked to Kapor, then we went and did all that. Now, we're going to head towards that beam of light. So, let's go ahead and head on over here. Yeah, fly. We. Alright, as we enter this area. This is inside the Thunderhead. And you'll see, there's actually a goddess, goddess chest in here. So, that would be something we need to collect in a little bit. But first, we're going to avoid all these guys. I honestly don't know what these things are called. And you can't really check. Because, you know, it's blind. But, be careful, they do hurt you. You want to try to avoid them as much as possible. The weakness is on their tail, so if you ever get a chance to, you can speed up at their tail and it'll hurt them. Get away. And it's puzzle time. Oh, we Ow. <laughs> there goes the bird. Master Link, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that it was left here for you by the goddess, Master. However, I am unable to determine a means of entering the structure head. I suggest you investigate the area. Well, let's read this. Rotate the center pedestal to complete the bridge that allows you to step to the great tower of the Isle of Songs. So, yes, these right here correspond with the platforms. So, we need to get these lined up in a straight line facing that way. So, first things first, we're going to, we need to assess where each one is. So, this is the two, but where's the third one at? Right here. So, we're going to actually go ahead and push this around real quick. Yeah. Let's bring this around. Go. Yeah. There we go. Then let's change it to, I think, this way. No, this way. I was right the first time. It is this way. <laughs> so then spin. Let's turn it back this way real quick. What does that do? What does that do for us? Doesn't. Doesn't do anything for us. Turn it this way. And spin it all the way around. Sorry if it, I sound a little weird. My nose is a little stuffy today. I don't know why. Oh. It would have been stuffy last episode as well. Anyway, we lined up these. Let's go ahead and hit this one. And finish twisting it. There we go. Now, let's go enter the building. There we go. Up, oh, up. Oh. I I always do that. Just for whatever reason, it like if you let go, it throws off your uh, direction that you're going. Anyway, I would strike the crest like usual, and it activates a cutscene. Master Link, I have important information. When you strike the crest with the Skyward Strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The, mes the goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. 
He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these, the, of these gifts, and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow upon you a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of Faron Woods. That song is called Feror's Courage. Feror's Courage. I like that one. It's a rousing melody. will guide you. You learn Feror's Cor Courage. 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 I like how the word I mess up on is the word that I say on a daily basis at a lot of the time. Master, you must overcome the trials set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flames. I have committed Feror's Courage to memory. Now you can use your dowsing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set out for Fair Woods as soon as you are ready. Well, we would. But no. Not yet. Yeah, I. you could use that. Oh, wow, look, you can, can you go outside. All right, there you go. We use the dowsing. <laughs> we don't need it. Just like always. Just like with everything else, we don't need the dowsing. So, now we're going to go jump off the ledge and get the goddess cube on this island. Which is right down there. Ready? 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 Fly! There we go. See that skill? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's the best way to do it for me, in my opinion. Rather than having to fly, like, turn around like that, just... Fly back behind the island. Anyway, you get a gold rupee. And that's the only goddess cube left, so. I think another side quest opens up? I wanna go check that real quick. If not, we'll head down and uh look for the trial. But for now I'll meet you guys over on uh Skyloft, and if not, I'll meet you guys down in Farron Woods. So as we drop down place we're going to go is the viewing platform. It's the closest one to the trial gate. Land. And the reason why I kept the cursed metal is because there's a new a new thing that we're going to be able to get. Report Master Link. I've detected the aura of a trial gate nearby. If you, if you can pinpoint the origins of this aura, the aura using dazzling, I conjecture the song you learned at the Isle Songs for Roar's Courage will reveal the gate. So this is the reason why we drop down here. We just drop off right here and... Hmm. I wonder where the trial gate is. But we're going to deal with this guy first because he's blue. He's new version. Blue Bokoblin. This is a dangerous form of Bokoblin. My analysis sets is many times stronger than a red Bokoblin. Its skin and clothing differ due to its hailing from a different environment. But it still is, has the same fixation with exotic un undercarpets. I can see it. This one especially right now, you want to be able to take out like that. Just because, you know, he is, like they said, stronger. We'll grab this, and then we'll deal with the trial game. There's a reason why I kept the curse metal. We'll be getting a new um, treasure in this area. Which, you know, there's only one treasure we haven't gotten. Dust Relic. First things first. Catch the butterflies. Get over here. Get over here, butterflies. There you go. That's how you catch bugs. You just flail your net wildly. Everyone knows that. Alright, strum to activate the trial gate. Obviously, we gotta do the strum with the with the tempo, so.
can't be honest, I didn't even go with the tempo of the circle of light. I went with how her voice went. <laughs> Something here is reacting to our performance of Poro's Courage. I have confirmed the appearance of a strange marking on the ground. I calculate a 90% possibility that this is a, this mark is a trial gate, as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from on Owl's songs. There's your sword in the center of the mark on the ground before you. Yeah, I, I didn't even go with this. I wasn't even paying attention to the to the circle of light. I was just kind of going with the way her voice went. So every time she finished like that, her her um, her verse, I would go the other way and she would continue a verse. Anyway, ready our sword and thrust. Everything looks different. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. Because it's so interesting. It's just they don't do a lot with it. Master Link. As expected, I cannot follow you into this realm. For this trial calls out to your mind alone. This is, this is the nature of places known as Silent Realms. They are domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial, Boros Silent, Silent Realm, sets the limit of your Kermit. Kermit. <laughs> of your Kermit. <laughs> your spirit has temporarily separated from your physical body so that you may undertake this challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. Oh, this is familiar. You get the spirit vessel. This mysterious plant represents your spirit link. <laughs> spirit link. <laughs> that is your spirit vessel. When this vessel is full, it will signify you have successfully completed the trial allowing your spirit to grow. This in turn will allow you to the goddess to bless you with a new power. To fill the spirit vessel, you need to search for something known as a tear of furore. There are many of them spread across this strange world. Master, do you see the glowing object just in front of you? That is a tier of favor. You will need to collect 15 of them. However, this is not a simple task as it would seem. Your work in this realm is referred to as a trial for good reason. If you take even a single step outside the protective circle you stand in, the guardians of this realm will wake up and pursue you, Master. If a guardian manages to land even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter and you will fail the trial. You must collect the tears scattered throughout this area and fill the spirit vessel without being hit by an attack. Was my explanation clear, Master? Do you want me to hear? Do you want me to explain it again? I got it. Understood, Master. I will be eagerly awaiting your return to the outside world. May the goddess watch over you, Master. So, like she said, we're in a little protective circle. However, as soon as we take a single step out, everything turns red. And the, pa the flower petals fall off the little flower up the top left. And they wake up, however. You grab this. You got a tier four. You got a tier four. This object power. Blah, blah, this object's power halts the movement of the guardians for just 90 seconds. Collect all 15 to pass the trial. That's one of 15. This right here. You got a light fruit. This mysterious flute enables you to see beacons over the, over the positions of sacred tiers for 30 seconds. It's always good to collect these, especially if you run out of them. And they're everywhere, so you don't have to ever worry about um, not seeing them. Also, there's another new object right here. This is the Dusk Relic. This item is similar in appearance to the Amber Relic, yet very different. It can only be found in certain places. That's right, so Dusk Relics can only be found in Silent Realms. So, anytime you see them, it's good to collect them, because you might not get another chance for a long while that and whenever you collect the tears as well by the way your uh, your stamina refills and everything so don't worry about running into them because then you'll just get your stamina back anyway so we're gonna run off over here that I believe is a poe or it might be a watcher it's one of those two just make sure yeah yeah I believe they're actually called watchers but you know if you avoid their spotlight then uh you know don't have to worry about it. I'll show you what their spotlight does in a little bit, but let me get to a better place to do it. Up here. Drop down. 
grab this one. Parkour. Master Link. The unusual liquid substance that covers this area is known as waking water, and it has certain, u certain unique properties. If you make contact with waking water, the guardians will be immediately alerted to your presence. Pools of waking water are located all throughout the area. I suggest you watch where you step. Yeah, so like she said, if you step in this, just like exiting your little protected circle, everything just wakes up. However, just like before, like one of those, everything goes back to normal. So, so it's always good to know where you can find the next tier before you do anything that might be risky like that. So, but let's go on and go over here. Sometimes there's a dust relic down there, but it's not this time. So, where's the closest um, tier? I don't want to do it here because uh, that guy's right there. So, I'll show you the watchers waking people up and everything whenever we get a good chance. But I'm not going to do that with the guardian right next to him. Because that's just like, you know, dumb. I'm dumb, but I'm not suicidal. That. Jump over here. Grab this. And you know what? Do it right here. Come here. So whenever you get caught, that guy explodes. And again, just like the waking water and exiting the circle, everyone everything wakes up. So now run around them. Since we can run through this, we can run by and grab that. Alright. Hop down here. Grab that. Along with this. Get another one. There's another one off in the distance over there. We'll go grab that in a second. This little area has waking water coming up and down. Again, just like the other one, doesn't really matter. Because we can just grab another tier right there. So. But on the way out, I don't want to step on it because obviously. You know, don't want to wake them up with no tear nearby or else it's going to kind of mess things up. So these ones that are just sitting still, if you get near them, you see they get alerted. They start trying to figure out where you are. And, you know, those ones are the most dangerous out of all of them. So you want to avoid the ones that are going and sitting still because those are the ones that will find you the easiest. Now, go ahead and head on over here. Here. Just make sure we're not missing any dusk relics because, like I said, we won't be back to another one in a little bit. For a little bit, I mean. Oh. Link, grab it. There we go. And we're only missing two tiers now. Go over here, grab this one. Sometimes the ones that are moving are also the ones that will do the little noise one. Like that. However, as long as you run, you'll stay out of their area. But, even if he catches us, it's fine. We're right next to the other tier. Oh, we can just climb up here. Grab that, and... Collected every last tier of Furore. Link's spirit has grown. The trial will continue until you exit the Silent Realm. Proceed with Kish... Gushing on your way back to the entrance so that you can claim proof of your spiritual growth. And a beacon from the entrance shines. With the collection of that last one, you don't ever have to worry about your thing going down unless you step in the waking water, get captured, or get sh 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 uh, shown by the guys floating around. But however, if you do get caught by them, you will not have another way to get rid of it until you get away. So you never want to get caught... With um, with the end like that, unless you want to be um, unless you want to be funny and do something like this, I don't recommend doing this. But I'm gonna do it because it's funny. See that? Have you run up here? Gotta hurry up and climb. Jump. And just like that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I don't recommend doing that because it's dumb, but I just felt like it'd be funny. But now that we did that, we get this little vessel. As it opens, you got the water dragon scale, the sacred gift left by the goddess grants you the power to explore underwater and even execute a spin maneuver. And we exit. As we come out, the Kikui Elder is here. Congratulations, Master Link. You have passed this trial. You now have the power to proceed to the location of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. The Water Dragon Scale is one of the gods' sacred gifts. The Great Spirit of the Water Dragon has provided you with the ability to swim freely underwater. The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods. Master, I must conclude that this flame is likely in a part of the area that you have not explored. Alright, well, let's talk to this guy. Oh, hello again. I see you have the water dragon scale there, Q. That's amazing. I heard that if you have one, Q, you can swim through the water like a dragon soars through the sky. There must be places here in the woods that you haven't visited yet, Q. You should use the water dragon scale to explore areas you couldn't even get to before, Q. Ho, ho, ho. Well, with the, um, learning of Ferrara's... Oh, look at that. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> with the uh, learning of Ferrara's courage, as well as the finishing of the trial in uh, Pharaon, and the receiving of the Water Dragon Scale, we're going to end the video here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.